that even cross your mind when you first got here? Did you think that was possible? Uh, yeah, I believe that, you know, I'm an athlete, but at the end of the day, that's the coach's decision. You know, I do what I have to do. I, I've trained all off season. You know, the coaches put us through a lot, you know, to be able to be that guy. You know, and that's up to the coach. Last year at this time, you're working to compete in Class 1A Whippeal football. Now you're working to get some playing time in high-level Division One football. How different of a player do you recognize yourself being in that one year of transition? Uh, definitely, definitely a different player. You know, the, the speed of the game is a lot faster than 1A football. You know, the competition, way higher, you know, obviously from single A to, you know, power five football. So it's definitely a big jump. But, you know, uh, with all the older guys in the linebacker room, they helped me adapt very well. How beneficial was it to come in early in the spring and learn what you learned? Oh, it definitely beneficial. You know, anybody that's coming out of high school, I definitely, you know, encourage them to come early. You know, you get a head start on playbook, head start on lifting, you know, and just a head start on building relationships with everybody on the team. You know, I've, since I've gotten here, I've uh, become very close with everybody on the team. How did you prepare yourself for the transition from high school to ACC? Uh, really, you know, just keep my head down, grinding, you know, every day, coming with uh, good energy, you know, knowing that I have to perform at a higher level than I did in high school. How much weight have you gained since, like, say, January? Uh, I think like 25 pounds, something like that. Was that a goal? Did you have a certain number in hand, or was it just gain as much weight as possible? I, uh, when I first got here, I was told to, you know, the playing weight was like 220. I think I got here about 195, so, you know, but I didn't, I didn't want to just get fat, so. <laughs> <laughs> the nutritionist and uh, the weight staff, you know, they really helped me out with that. How's it moving with that weight now? Like, like now that that's your heavy, I mean, you, it's a big change in how you got to play, and you're an athletic guy. Uh, honestly, it wasn't that big of a change for me. You know, the uh, weight staff in there, you know, they do a great job on agility and lifting and all that stuff. So they made sure I kept up with, with all that stuff. Do your friends back home recognize those physical changes? Like, when they see you every couple weeks, do they say, like, man, you're getting a lot bigger? Uh, yeah, they definitely do. You know, from being, like, 195 mm -hmm. to skinny to like you know more bulky you know they definitely see the changes you know, mentioned that playing at class a is there a motivator that comes with people probably have been a lot of doubters like hey you're gonna go from that level to go play in the acc oh yeah yeah definitely you know being uh the first kid from leechburg since my dad 1993 to go you know play division one football you know that's definitely a big thing for me you know motivating the younger kids to showing them that they can do it don't matter where you're at you know, definitely a big thing for me. What position you get in Mr. Reps at? Uh, the outside line positions. You got star money or you kind of just float between? Uh, I do a little bit of both. You know, I'm between reps, each rep, we get one here, get one there. Is those older guys in the linebacker room kind of taking you under their wing? Oh, yeah, definitely for sure. You know, any anytime I got a question, anytime I need anything, you know, they're always there for me no matter what. What's the biggest thing that you feel that Coach Man likes coaching you on right now, the thing he's emphasizing the most? Uh, really just like knowledge of the game you know i've got the playbook down since i came early but now you know it's knowledge of the game you know knowing when to do this knowing when to do that you know especially like reading the keys you know watching film breaking down like oh this guy does this on a run you know when this guy's expanded it might be the pass you know stuff like that you know he's probably he's one of the best coaches i've had at that What's an example of something that you can see now, even in just your first camp, that you couldn't see when you're thinking back to how you played in high school? Uh, definitely, like, uh, the linemen, you know, their tendencies and stuff like that, you know. And then uh, also the running back tendencies and stuff like that. You know, that was definitely a big help for me, you know. So. You said you uh, wanted to gain weight, but you didn't want to get fat. How'd, how'd, <laughs> how'd you walk that line? Um, you know, the nutritionists, they do a great job, you know, telling me, what I should eat, you know, what I should not, what I should stay away from, and stuff like that. So, what did they have you stay away from? <laughs> Sweets. Sweet. This is one thing. You know, they say you could have some here and there, but you know, then you want to stay with like uh, color food, like vegetables and things like that. Make sure you get down your plate with some protein. Have you been able to help out the freshmen who didn't come in in the spring? You know, guys that are your age, and you could say like, hey, I've been around here just a little longer. Maybe I can give you a couple pointers. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. You know, because. I've been, I was in their shoes, you mm -hmm. know, before them. So, and what the older guys have taught me, you know, I've passed down to them. So they, so they know what they can do, you know, and stuff like that. You guys are two weeks away. 
how much have you started thinking about getting in the stadium for real in the season starting? Uh, you know, honestly, I try, I try not to think about that stuff. You know, I try to stay in the present day, you know, focus on one practice at a time. Anything else? relationship like with uh, Chris Brookings and those other guys? Uh, you know, I, I played seven on seven with them, you know, probably, I think it was my junior year. So we had a relationship, you know, before coming to Pitt, but, you know, I, I have a good relationship with all the Whitfield guys, you know, Western Pennsylvania football. You know, we all, we all got each other. There's a chance you could have a D-line with Whitfield guys in front of you. Like, is, that, is that something you guys discuss? Like what, an, what kind of impact that the WPIL is having on this team? Yeah, we, uh, we definitely have some conversation about it. Uh, you know, me and uh, MJ were talking about the other day how much, you know, Whoopi football is on the come up. Thank you, Brent. Thank you.